everybody. Today I wanted to quickly answer a reader's question they had sent me and they wanted to know how do I add apps to my Facebook page. In this case I've already got some apps installed, some that I built myself, etc. But it's actually really simple. To get started you go to uh, the Facebook search box here at the top. In this case let's say we wanted to add Flickr. Okay, so I've done a search for Flickr, and as you can see here, it doesn't pull up anything um, about an app. It just says shared links. So if I don't see what I want, I just click the bottom that says view more, and then I can filter on the left-hand side here. And in this case, I want to go to apps, and I'm going to see all these apps. But one thing I like to do is I like to use the number of monthly active users um, as a guideline for adding an app. So say I want to add this one, which seems to have the most. I'm going to click on the app. And at this point, I'm going to scroll down. You can read some reviews about the app. But I'm going to click Add to My Page. Notice there are two sections here that says Add to My Page and Add to My Page Favorites. But I'm going to Add to My Page. We're going to click on My Page. I'm going to hit Close. So now if I go back to my page, I should be able to see the Flickr app. So in this case, it's not on the left-hand side yet. So I'm going to click More. And there it is at the bottom. And once you've added an app, again, in this case, I've got to configure the tab, but, you know, probably put in my Flickr information. But I can also click Edit down here and drag this item up and down. And when I'm done, I click Done, and there you go. I've now put it towards the top of my um, page, you know, for tabs, for tabs that I want people to be able to see. Now, say you've put it there and you want to take it off, uh, we can click Edit, and we can click this X. But one thing to remember, this doesn't really remove the app completely. It removes it from your page. Um, you can always go in and change some of those settings. And to do that, you can go to Account. Sorry, let me rephrase it. There are two ways to do this. One is you can go to your actual uh, page. You can click Edit Page and go into Apps. And it will allow you, if you've got the app installed, in this case, you see I, I removed it from the sidebar, but the app was still installed. Um, I can go in here and click this X and it will remove the app from my page, which is great. So we're going to go ahead and remove that right now. So it's no longer installed on my page. Now, say you wanted to go in and uh, say you've got your Facebook profile and you've got a lot of apps installed. Let me quickly show you how you can manage your apps a little better. To do that, you go to Account, you go to Privacy Preferences, and then we're going to scroll down to the section called Apps and Websites and click on Edit Settings. And here we're going to see some of the apps that we used, the last ones that we've used. And we can turn, basically we can go in and we can remove apps through here. We can turn off all platform apps. Um, and I have 111 apps here apparently I'm using. But what you're going to do, click on Edit Settings, and it's going to allow you to go in and manage the apps individually. So in this case, let's see if I could find one here. Um, Let's take off, let's go and edit the, what is this one? So again, we can remove the app by clicking an X in here, but we can click the edit button and we can go in and we can say, hey, this app, if there were certain features we could turn off, we could go in and change these from um, on to off. But in this case, obviously this app doesn't allow us to do this, but say we want to get rid of it, we just click remove and it basically removes it from bookmarks and all sorts of other places that you've got on Facebook. So there you have it. That is how to use, uh, to add apps and to remove apps on your Facebook page, um, also on your Facebook profile. Remember, not all apps can be installed on a profile um, and a page. Sometimes apps are unique to profiles and unique to pages. Just be sure you look for that um, in the description on the app you're looking at. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.